North Korea Special Operations Forces, known as SOF, have been sent to Russia to fight for war in Ukraine, Telegraph has reported. A video that appeared on Friday showed North Korean troops arriving at Russian bases in the country's far east Vladivostok region, picking up military equipment in long queues. The personnel reportedly sent to Vladivostok are presumed to have been sourced from the 200,000 strong ranks of the SOF. Being one of the most secretive units of its kind in the world, SOF appear loyal and highly trained but lack in advanced military equipment. It's primarily used to probe and test South Korean defenses. South Korea's spy agency, the NIS, said on Friday that North Korean troops are training in Russian bases in Vladivostok, Ashuriysk, Khabarovsk, and Vlagovshensk. Some 1,500 special forces were transferred to the port city of Vladivostok, with further deployments expected in the near future, the agency has reported. Ukraine has also warned of North Korean soldiers' deployment to war in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said with reference to intelligence information on October 18 that 10,000 troops from North Korea are being prepared to join Russian forces fighting against his country. The Ukrainian leader warned that a third nation wading into the hostilities would turn the conflict into a world war. Earlier, head of the main directorate of defense intelligence of Ukraine Kirill Budinov said that around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen were currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine. They will be ready by November 1, the intelligence chief said. North Korea said Saturday it found the remains of a South Korean drone during a search in its capital, Pyongyang, claiming the drone proved the South's military was behind the alleged drone infiltrations over the city's skies earlier in the month. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff in a statement described the North Korean claim as unilateral and unworthy of responding. The North's official Korean Central News Agency released photos showing a seemingly damaged aircraft with wide, V-shaped wings and winglets. It said a joint investigation by North Korea's military and state security agencies concluded that the aircraft, which it said was found on October 13, was the same type of drone that appeared in a South Korean military parade earlier in October. North Korea accused South Korea of flying drones over the night skies of Pyongyang three different times this month to drop anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets. It threatened to respond with force if such flights occur again. The aircraft allegedly found in Pyongyang was likely one of the drones that were used to drop leaflets, North Korea's defense ministry said, but further examinations were needed to verify that. Should South Korea deny that the aircraft was used to drop leaflets, that would only confess to a separate infiltration of North Korea's airspace by the South's military, the ministry said. If North Korea confirms another violation of its territorial ground, airspace and waters by the South's military, that will be regarded as a declaration of war and an immediate retaliatory attack will be launched, the ministry added. South Korea's defense minister initially made a vague denial after the North's October 11 accusation that the South sent drones over Pyongyang. The South's military adjusted its response hours later saying it couldn't confirm whether or not the North's claims were true. Tensions on the Korean peninsula are now at their worst in years as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ramps up his weapons tests and threats, and expands military cooperation with Russia, with South Korea claiming the North dispatched troops to support Russia's war against Ukraine. The animosity has been exacerbated by Cold War-style psychological warfare campaigns between the Koreas in recent months. Since May, North Korea has sent thousands of balloons carrying paper waste, plastic and other trash to drop on the South. The South's military has responded by using loudspeakers at the border to broadcast propaganda and K-pop to North Korea. 
North Korea is extremely sensitive to any outside criticism of Kim's authoritarian government and his family's dynastic rule.